we got so much done today. We got the kitchen complete. All we have to left is- We don't want to do hardwood down here. Yeah, we changed the mind. This may look cool and all, but you know what? We officially messed up. All right, so check this out, guys. Before this video gets started, I do want to mention that we just dropped something brand new on the website. We actually just released our very first windbreaker hoodie, and this sucker is super fire and super high quality. Of course, you got the embroidered Goon Squad logo up front, and you got a pocket up front, and you got an adjustable waistband that way wind doesn't get to you. You got some stretchy wrists, and of course, you got a hood on top. And not only did we drop it in the fire green, we also got it in the fire white. Check that out, guys. These suckers are super fire, and they are very limited. So if you want to copy one and help support your boys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com. But as of right now, let's get to the video. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, we are here at the new Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we finally got all the upstairs hardwood floors completely knocked out. We got those suckers sanded and coated. And they turned out absolutely amazing. We're actually going to show you guys the finished product here in a little bit because after it dried up, it definitely changed. So it looks even better, I think, personally. But what we're going to start working on today is actually the floors on the first level here on the concrete. We're going to start doing some uh, glue down floors. And the reason why we want to get this stuff knocked out here really soon because we already have cabinets in town. And it's just basically going to come down to how fast we can finish this stuff in order for them to actually install all those cabinets so we got a lot of work on our hands plus it is the holiday season so we basically just got to be on our toes just bouncing around getting stuff knocked out and on top of that we got to finish up all of our trim and even installing our doors and even start painting before those cabinets go in so we got a hefty amount of work on our hands so we're just gonna go ahead hop inside probably start cleaning this whole entire first level here and then we'll just go from there Check this out, we got this whole entire room nice and clean and ready for some hardwood floors. But there was a lot of prep work, a lot of cleanup that we had to do. We basically just took everything out of here, moved it into the garage, and then we started scraping all the mud. There was two types of mud here. There was mud from the outdoors, and then there was the sheetrock mud on the floor. We got it all scraped up. And then we even brought in the grinder, the concrete grinder, and there was a few high spots that we basically yeah. just took clean out. That yeah, dude, so we used like some concrete grinder or diamond blade, and we smoothed that sucker out nice and smooth. That was just a little spot right there. The main spot was in front of this door where the block was actually Actually protruding yes sir and we actually had to cut that sucker clean out got it nice and flush and we were actually thinking about installing what like three feet of tile right here. yeah we're thinking about doing like three feet of tile that way it's like a basically a custom floor mat whenever you walk in you don't step on the hardwood but we talked to a few people and you know we're probably not gonna do that yeah we got a few second opinions and I think we're just gonna run the hardwood up against that door and I think it'll look nice and clean and just throw a mat down right there. oh yeah it's here. definitely gonna look a lot better so I mean we even buffed this for did we mention that we buffed this dude floor? We, we buffed it man we we threw on the 80 grid that way we can just uh, make extra sure that this glue is gonna stick exactly and we got the glue over there uh, warming up because I think you gotta warm it up or something like that that way it it goes down properly or yeah it goes like down that. nice and smooth dude, dude look at what I just noticed right there a foot or footprint dude. Dude. I don't, dude, that looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex or something right dude, there, dude. You might be, that might be That's Bigfoot. a fossil. <laughs> dude, because that is probably from like 10 years ago. But anyways, the very next thing that we're gonna do is probably throw two rows of hardwood. This is the most important thing. We're gonna run it all the way along this wall, all the way to that wall right there. And this is gonna make sure that we end up with the proper... Uh, the uh, Well, you wanna throw these two lines as straight as possible because the straighter they are, the, be the straighter your whole entire floor is gonna end up because you don't wanna start this thing off sideways and end up 
like not 45ing the last piece or something like that. Exactly. I couldn't have said it better myself. And on top of that, we are going to throw some laser beams and maybe some chalk line because I just noticed that this wall is not 100% perfect either. Yeah, it kind of curves out at the end over there, but no big deal. I think we can get something done. Yeah, dude. this sucker's a little bit wavy, but before we actually just get straight to work, we're probably going to go ahead and show you guys the floor since we got some pretty good dude, lighting. Let's go check it out, man. It looks way different and better from what it did when we first coated it, dude. dude look at that. Dang. Dude, that looks nice and clean. That almost looks like the finished product, dude. But hey, it may look like the finished product, but believe it or not, we're actually gonna buff it and throw a couple more coats. It's gonna look smoother, better, slicker, all that, dude. It's gonna look sick. I can't wait to actually go ahead and actually get all that done. That'll be probably after we install all the doors, all the trim, and even start painting. But as of right now, I said we just go ahead, keep moving with the downstairs floors and uh, just get straight to work. We don't want to do hardwood down here. Yeah, we changed our mind. This may look cool and all, but you know what? We officially messed up, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know if we messed up. I mean, we just kind of didn't really see what was going on. As you can tell, we laid out our line nice and straight, got the glue down on it. But once we were laying this floor out, that way we can start uh, attaching it, we seen a couple pieces that were thicker than the others. So I, I thought there was like just a mess up in one of the boxes. And then we read some of these boxes and we ended up throwing down a what three eighths inch hardwood and the hardwood that we ordered is actually half inch which... exactly but you know what i think happened from the shop there was two extra boxes that we brought with us and those box those boxes were actually the three eighths the thinner stuff yep and uh, we should have put down the half inch stuff, the thicker yeah. stuff there. Just something easy that we should have just uh, looked through, but you know what? They're all the same boxes. We just thought it was the same hardwood, but no big deal. We're gonna go ahead and just rip this up, clean up the glue. We still got our line there and just throw another new line on yeah, it. Yeah, exactly, because it'll be an absolute nightmare if this stuff hardens. You are not getting that stuff off, dude. Yeah, good thing it's still kind of wet. We're gonna go ahead and peel it off and uh, just restart. Start over, man, ain't no biggie. Nope.
Alrighty guys, so check this out. We got our little issue fixed right there. And instead of doing one row, we did two rows, dude. Yeah, two rows, that way whenever it dries, it's a stronger surface to actually uh, put the rest of our hardwood against because we are gonna be hammering this stuff in and putting tons of glue on it and stuff like that. And we're probably gonna end up uh, leaving this overnight and let this sucker dry completely before we start doing all of it because we don't wanna risk actually messing up this line. Yeah, because you do gotta give that glue about two hours before you can start. And I mean, we're probably gonna start doing other things in the meantime, right? Yeah, I mean, we are trying to finish up the downstairs. We're trying to uh, just finish up the floors and everywhere because we have cabinets, like we mentioned, coming in. So we're gonna actually jump inside of the bathroom over there and do the top on the floor. Yes, dude. sir. I, I'm super excited about getting all the floors knocked out because, dude, the cabinets are going to get installed all the way around right here and in the bathroom. And that tile in the bathroom is going to go super quick. Yeah, we got some cool tile for there because we did mention we want a different tile in each bathroom, but we'll show you guys that later. But anyways, I mean, uh, tell the people why we got the hardwood laid out like this. Yeah, dude. exactly. Look, we got a good bit of this laid out and this goes pretty quick, but there is a specific pattern that you want to go with, you know, or a specific design because you want this to look as random random as possible, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you don't want each one of these little lines to actually match up. You want to kind of like just throw it off a little bit here and there. That way it just looks really good once it's like nothing matched up. You don't want like a straight line with the hardwood. Yeah, yet. you don't want these joints. You don't want a joint right there and then a joint right there or even like a joint pretty close. So you got to have like a pretty large gap. So you do steps and like, dude, we just learned this back in the day. Yeah, and the reason why we have it already laid out instead of like putting glue and then going through the box and grabbing a piece at a time, that's going to take super long. Um, everybody that does like hardwood, like this is exactly how they do it. They lay everything out, perfect pattern, everything, throw their glue or their nails, put it on and just go at it. Dude. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So that's how we're going to do it. We're just going to slap down our glue right there. Well, you can't actually put your nails or anything. You yeah, just... you can't do nails. <laughs> I'm just saying if you're doing nails or glue, you, you do it basically the same way. Yeah, exactly. You got to lay it out and then tomorrow, dude, I think we'll get this whole entire floor knocked out tomorrow. Dude. Yeah. I mean, it's not that big of a floor. And uh, I mean, since we're going to let that dry overnight, we shouldn't have an issue with anything moving. You know what I yes, mean? Yes, sir. So we are done with this for tonight. Uh, we're actually going to move into the bathroom over here, dude. Yeah, so we got this whole entire thing cleaned out, took everything out of here. All we have to do is just sweep and possibly just take this door off right here. And before we actually lay our tile down, we have to go ahead and cut these door jams right here with this pine tool because we want the hardwood and the tile to slip under it. So we're going to have to just do a nice little cut under there and just make it nice and easy. Yes, sir. And look at the new tile that we got, dude. So we got some nice tile. This is something totally different from the other tile we have in the house. We just want it simple, but yet really good looking so this is some high gloss like almost granite looking tile right Dude, there. and those are some big pieces so that should go fairly quick which i'm super excited about yeah that. i'm glad we went with those big pieces i mean it's not that big of a bathroom anyways i don't know it's like five by five just like a little square so i say we go ahead clean up in here take this door off cut the jams and start laying down some tile
Alrighty guys, so it is the next day here, bright and early in the morning, nice and foggy and all, but dude, that tile turned out absolutely amazing. Dude, dude. that looks super good. I'm glad we went with that tile choice right there and it turned out perfect, man. Dude, flawless. All the cuts were pristine. What do you call it? Around that tunnel? Oh, around the, uh, the toilet uh, plumber hole right there, dude. It was like a perfect cut and stuff like that. I mean, all the cuts were perfect. Even by this door over here, we got a nice clean cut. The hardwood is the, like almost the exact same height right there. So you just look good, man. Dude, nice and flush. It slid right under those jams, no problem. Plus, we use a leveling kit here, so that floor is flat, dude. dude. It's perfect, man. That's probably one of our best uh, tile jobs on the, I don't know. Hold on, hold on. That's can't probably, say that yet. Yeah, that was really easy to do, so I can't really say that yet. The hard tile jobs upstairs are really difficult, but they are going to look really good, dude. Yeah, dude, those suckers, I can't wait to get those done, but we're going to work on that stuff a little bit later. But since it is the next day here, that means it is time that we could actually move Move on with the rest of the hardwood, right? Yep, the glue is permanently dry. This wood is not going anywhere. So I say we're ready to go ahead and take all this weight off of the wood, start slapping down some glue and start slapping down some flooring. major amount of progress over here look at this about half of it is knocked out but you know what it took a little bit of getting used to man oh yeah dude especially whenever we came in here this morning and we just first started the the rows on our starter line right there it was a bunch of dry glue it was really difficult to get this part with a line and stuff like that but we managed to get about two feet out and then after that we got the hang of it and then look at this dude hey. we're halfway done basically. Dude, after that that it was smooth sailing but we still had to figure out how to use a hammer which is crazy to think about well this is technically a mallet right here is basically just a big old rubber block right here and uh, there is a certain way you gotta like align these boards and pop them into place you gotta align all the grooves and stuff like that and you don't really want to hit on the edge because you can crack this and damage the wood so you're basically just using this big old rubber stopper as a like a, a grip basically. yeah just a grip and you're just like just just hitting it in there dude dude but you know what we are getting it now and we're about to knock out this whole entire downstairs we already made one technical cut over here this is probably going to be the hardest cut right there and that was a breeze dude yep. so we got to this wall now we just got to focus on either this side or that side we'll probably do the kitchen first because we don't really have to make you no know, precise cuts because cabinets are going here so we can just uh, run through this quickly and then i guess we're gonna jump on this side and get this all knocked out
Alrighty guys, so check this out. We made it thus far and we basically just had to stop because we actually ran out of wood, dude. Oh yeah, so I mean, we just probably need like two to three more boxes to finish the rest of this off, but dude, we got so much done today. We got the kitchen complete. All we have left is probably like, like six more rows over here and a couple over there in front of the stairs and just a few more right there and we should be good. Yeah, dude. so yeah, those hallways right there are gonna quickly get knocked out. We have a little bit more wood right here, but it's not worth to go ahead and actually put those pieces down because the glue is going to dry and we like to just put glue all the way there and then just slap them on there it's yeah. easier like that yeah definitely a lot easier so we'll definitely wait until we get some more boxes in um we ordered enough wood uh thinking that uh, they had some of those leftover boxes and that happened to be you know the different size wood so we kind of miscalculated and uh kind of you know messed up because we thought that was the same wood but we'll have more coming in here real soon but dude that's it, dude. That's, that's pretty it. much it. The cabinets can arrive and they can install because the this is the most important thing to have that floor down right here. And look at that, dude. That that's, looks really good, dude. We got to cover it up a little bit because this glue, man, is just crazy, dude. They should have just called it crazy glue, man. Dude, for <laughs> sure. But anyways, dude, once we get this all done, sanding this thing will be no problem. You know what I mean? This ain't like the uh, wood upstairs right there. No, yeah. This stuff is going to sand super quick. We'll probably get it sanded, coated all in the same exact day. We may even end up just buffing it, dude. Dude, who knows, man? Uh, this stuff is already super smooth. May just have to buy like a, like a, I don't know, like an 80 grit, or maybe just use an 80 grit buffer. Great 80 grit buffer. We'll, we'll ask a few people around, but dude, I'm just, I'm just super happy with how it's looking, dude. It's gonna, we're gonna do natural finish, of course, right? Yep, natural to match the rest of the house. Dude, but that's pretty much gonna be it for today. And uh, because it is New Year's, I mean, today is New Year's Eve. Yeah, dude. New Year's Eve. And uh, I mean, happy New Year's guys, because uh, it's right around, it's in a couple hours. <laughs> 2020 has been one awesome and it's been a roller coaster. It's That's been, all I got to say. It's been a crazy. For some, it's been an awesome year. For others, I don't know, man. It's been, yeah, it's been kind of yeah. rough. It's been a roller coaster ride, like I mentioned, ups and downs for everybody. I think everybody had a. I know. Everybody had a, a crazy 2020, but hopefully 2021 changes around and. Uh, gets people going to the direction that they wanted to go, you know what I mean? But guys, that is pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video. We are making some huge progress and this house is gonna be complete before you know it. So make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram, at Goon Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.